Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Case Me A Christmas Card. Today I'm making this rainbow Christmas card um, based on a card made by Annika Lish. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Annika. Alright, so I'm starting with this die from Hero Arts. It's from the Christmas Holiday Stamp and Cut set. And I actually cut it twice, but I ended up only using one of those die cuts. Um, I'm just popping it out from its surrounds right now. And then, of course, I had to pop out all the little bits in between the letters, like the little space in the R and um, stuff like that. And now I'm going to get out my life-changing blender brushes from Pick a Pen Studios and a bunch of Distress Oxide inks. So I've got Salty Ocean, I've got Wilted Violet, I've got Prize Ribbon, and then I've got uh, Picked Raspberry, then Spice Marmalade, Squeeze Lemonade, Twisted Citron, and uh, Peacock Feathers. So they're the colours that I've got and I'm pulling out my ink stand here to help me hold my ink pads in place as I do a bit of ink blending. Now I'm trying to be careful with my ink blending here because um, first of all I don't want the colour really really intense on this die cut and secondly of course the letters of the die cut are not as sturdy as a solid piece of cardstock so if you decide to do what I'm doing and ink blend over a die cut word rather than ink blending over a piece of cardstock and then die cutting from it you just got to be extra careful to make sure you don't sort of bend the letters um, and sort of twist them out of shape all right, now you might notice that I'm not doing this in traditional rainbow order. If I was doing in traditional rainbow order, I would have started with the pink or the red at one end and worked my way through to the purple at the other end. But I'm actually following the um, rainbow color order that Annika used in her card. So that's why I'm doing that. Right, so I just skipped a few colours here and skipping down to the last one, which is Peacock Feathers on the last letter there. I'm just going to tidy up my workstation and move on to the next step. So here I have a um, rectangle die. So this is the pierced rectangle die from Paper Rose. Now you can see on the card that I'm casing here, you can see the rainbow word. You can also see a cute little animal there. Um, you can see a grey border, you can see um, a sort of stitched rectangle um, as the white piece and you can also see some black um, stamping on it. So I'm using all of these um, ele elements in my card, um, just not exactly the same. And of course I've put a Christmassy twist on it as well, as I always do. All right, so now I've got my cute little animal to add and what I'm using is the Sweet Holiday Penguins set from My Favourite Things and I've just chosen this cute little penguin here. I'm stamping him in my Picket Fence Studios black hybrid ink because I was planning on doing some Copic colouring but then I changed my mind. So here I'm going to be colouring him with Derwent pencils and I'll turn on some music for you to listen to while I colour him.
Okay, so now that I've finished my colouring, I'm just pulling out my scissors to do a bit of fussy cutting. I think I've said this in a previous video. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this stamp set has a matching die set. I expect it probably does. I just don't own it. So I pulled out my scissors to do a quick little bit of fussy cutting. Didn't take me very long at all. Okay. Now it comes to constructing this card. So here's my pierced rectangle and I'm putting it on to a piece of sort of slate grey cardstock. Now on Annika's card, the grey cardstock was the same size as her entire card base, but I decided I only wanted a little border of grey. So I just stuck my white panel to a grey panel cut a border around it and then I'm sticking it straight to my card base there. All right, so now I'm just arranging where I want my elements to go on the card. All right, I reckon that's about right. So I'm going to pull out my glue and with the tiny little needle nose tip makes it really easy to get a very fine line of glue so I don't end up squidging glue out the sides of the letters, which I always seem to do. <sighs> it's just every time, but I managed to avoid it um, most of the time today. So now I've just pulled out my T-square ruler to make sure my sentiment is on mostly straight. Um, that's a good thing about using liquid glue because you've got a little bit of wiggle room for when you stick something down. You want to make sure that it's perfectly straight. You can actually move it around. Some other glues aren't quite so forgiving. Okay, so I put my little penguin over on the left-hand side. I decided I wanted to pop him up onto some foam adhesive and I've cut all out um, that from the video because the amount of time it takes me to get foam adhesive onto the back of something and then take all the release paper off, you have no idea. <laughs> you don't want to see that in the video. All right, so one more element that was in Annika's card was she had a little sub-sentiment um, on the right-hand side underneath her rainbow uh, sentiment. So I pulled out this um, stamp from the same set that the die-cut sentiment is from, and I've just popped it into my Misty to make sure that I actually stamp it straight and in the right spot and don't get any smudges. Honestly, how many rotten cards have been saved by the invention of the Misty. Uh, <laughs> before I had my Misty, so many cards ended up in the bin. Not anymore. All right, so my last little addition here is some iridescent moonshine sequins from Picket Fence Studios. Um, again, this is to add another element that was in Annika's card. So she had a couple of clusters of sequins. So I'm just adding uh, a few towards the top right of my sentiment and there's going to be a few sort of underneath the penguin on the left hand side of the sentiment and it always takes me way too long to arrange these on a card front but I'm doing it and um, again I'm going to be using this liquid glue to make sure they're all going to stay put and once they're adhered that is my card for today so thank you very very much for watching thank you very much to Annika for being my guest for Case Me A Christmas card today and we'll see you next time bye